Hey, what's up guys, the tech spot here, and today I want to show you something that I found that was really, really cool and interesting. It's with the Instagram app. It's a little tip and trick that's only available for the month. So just a quick and short little video. If you already know about this, then that's super cool. But I also want to make a video about this to bring awareness because I feel like this could be implemented throughout every single app and make theming icons super cool. So yes, this is about theming icons. So basically, what you need is a most updated version of Instagram. Make sure that you download the update and that part is good to go. Now X out of here and I'm going to go ahead and open up Instagram and head over here to my settings. So all I got to do is tap on the top right over here and then tap on settings. And once I tap on settings, if I go ahead and scroll all the way down, you can see it has like a little parade and boom, look at this. We could choose a bunch of different app icons for the Instagram app. And it's so, so cool. I know I might be a little bit late to making this video. So if you already know, then you know, but yeah, I was busy making other videos and this wasn't as important, but I really wanted to make a video on this to show emphasis on this and really bring light to it because I think it's important and it would be really cool if every app implemented this in iOS 14. We wouldn't have to use a Siri shortcut, it's just super, super cool. Anyways, yeah, I can see they have loads of icons. We have the classic two icon, which personally is my favorite icon. We have the classic one, original code name, which kind of like a secret Instagram icon. We got twilight, which looks nice. Sunrise, beautiful. Aurora, pride, that looks good too. Gold, whoo, all right, dark. Lights, I don't know about that one. Very dark. Okay, you can't even see anything. <laughs> you can barely see the app icon. I don't know why you'd use that one, but anyways, to choose one, all I gotta do is tap on it. Of course, I don't want that one. I tapped on that one by accident. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll up, and I love the classic two icon. So right now, I guys can see I have the black one before I had the current one. So that's the current one. And my favorite one that I'm gonna keep in it at is the classic two icon. This, oh my god. If I go and X out of here, look at that. Look at that. No, look at it! Hi. Just like that, the app icon is now themed. And yeah, so they're gonna be doing this for about a month. So hop on this quick. It even looks really cool with the parallax effect. I like this 3D icon look that we had in the past. And I just, oh my God, I just wanna keep it. You guys can see even the notifications have the new app icon as well. I thought this was really cool. And I feel like every app should implement this to make theming app icons so much more simple. And yeah, it would just be really cool. Now, Instagram was not really the first to do this. Apollo, the Reddit client, actually had this before. So again, I mean, X out of here. So if we go to the bottom right tab, yeah, I could see if I go to tap on app icon over here, you can see they have a bunch of different app icons that I could choose in the Apollo Reddit application as well. And they just look so cool. That one is cool. Enter the state. Whew. Okay, anyways, they have a bunch, even more than Instagram, so just a load of different ones. But the only thing about Apollo is that these are not free. You do have to pay for the Ultra. If I go back over here, you have to pay for the Pro version of Apollo for five bucks. But for Instagram, it's free. And yeah, they might have this for the month. Hopefully, they do keep it for longer because I think it looks absolutely amazing. I love this app icon so much more. And it's nice not having to mess around with Siri shortcuts. I hope every single app developer implements this as well. And once you're going to tap on it, it works just like the regular app. It is actually the regular app. It's no trickery going on over here. And yeah, so it's just super cool. Let me go and show you guys that parade again real quick. So settings and <laughs> that's just so cool. So let's go and read this real quick. Celebrate with us. To celebrate our birthday this month, we're inviting you to change your app icon to your favorite below. Thanks for being a part of our story and using Instagram to share yours. Let me see what the code one looks like, actually. Okay, that one's cool too, but I love the classic too. That is definitely my favorite. Oh, and if you missed my video on how to change your app icons on iOS 14 without these shortcuts redirects, you guys can see, and when I open up an app, it first brings up shortcuts and then it opens up the app. That link to that video on how to do it without the shortcuts app will be linked down below the description. So basically, your apps open like regular apps, except now the app icons are now themed. I know many people do not want to change their app icons because of this delay, but with this new method, you can just open the app and it'll be themed 
and it'll work like a regular app. Let's open right up. So it's super fast. And yeah, so it does require a few steps, but if you want to theme your device without having that shortcut redirect, then it's totally worth it. And yeah, that video has been getting some traction. So I'll link it down below in the description if you are interested. But yeah, guys, just a quick little video. Again, it would be cool if iOS 14 implemented this with every app. As you can see, Apple does allow it. The app developers just have to make this available, and I feel like it's pretty easy for them to do, so why not? Anyways, guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for much more content. I do have many more videos planned, so stay tuned for that. Again, just a quick and short little video if you did not know about this trick. This is Textbot. Enjoy the rest of your day, and peace out.